How's everybody doing today? This is your boy Rich, and I'm here with a very special guest today, Malcolm Williams. How you doing today, Malcolm? Hello, I'm good. I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, I'm. I feel very blessed to have you on the show. Malcolm Williams is a wide receiver for the Toronto Argonauts, and what I wanted to do today is because I played high school football, and it's kind of like an Al Bundy story. You know, I've always, I always talk about my high school football days. Um, I feel blessed to be speaking to a real professional athlete that's made it in Canada, a Canadian athlete who has made it from the high school levels all the way to the CFL. I'd like to know your story. Can you share your story with us today? Like, how did that all happen? Yes. So, um, originally, actually, uh, coming out of high school, uh, I chose to play basketball. So, uh, Coming out of high school, I committed to the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. Uh, and that year I played basketball and uh, that was quite the experience there. Uh, I get to travel the country, you know, 18 year old kid coming in and, uh, you know, kind of uh, got to feel what it was like to be a pro athlete. Cause, you know, university, you know, you, you kind of get held to a high standard. Right. And uh, so that was awesome and then um so i actually ended up leaving ubc and i played junior football in langley wow and uh yeah and my first year uh playing with the rams uh i had a pretty good year and uh some cfl scouts started to come around and that's kind of when i knew i was like wow okay i actually have an opportunity uh to to get to the league one day and so uh, I played three years for Langley. And after, after my third year playing junior football, uh, I decided that I would like to get to the next level and play CIS. So then I committed to the University of Manitoba to go and play football. So I head to Winnipeg, uh, excited for the new opportunity, the next journey, uh, had a good training camp. And then our first preseason game comes and uh, my coach calls me, uh, calls me into the office and uh, I found out that I'm not eligible oh. uh, because of that one year at UBC, I, uh, I was a few credits shy of being eligible. Oh, wow. So uh, I found out right before my first game with Manitoba that I have to redshirt for the year. And so that was a big blow for me. Um, I didn't know whether I wanted to leave Manitoba, go home right away, play junior again, because I have one year junior eligibility. But I decided that I was going to stay, stay in Manitoba, use the uh, train at, you know, at their amazing facilities. And, uh, and you know, study hard, and then come back next year ready to play. And so I was just uh, practicing all year, um, and I played with a guy. His name was David Onyemata. Uh, he's uh, he ended up being a fourth round draft pick to the NFL. Oh wow! And so there's a lot of scouts coming, a lot of scouts coming to practice, a lot of scouts checking them out, and. Uh, and so I kind of use that as an opportunity to kind of showcase myself. And um, I remember in December, uh, you know, I, I, I go to bed thinking, okay, you know, I got these last exams, I got to be ready for next year. And then I get a call out of nowhere. And it was uh, general manager, Jim Barker from the Toronto Argonauts. And he had called and offered me a contract. And what was wow. crazy about the whole thing was, was that, uh, I was eligible to be signed for a contract because I hadn't played at the university level. Uh, as soon as you play a game at the university level, you have to go through the draft process. And so because I had to sit out that year in Manitoba after playing junior, I was eligible to get signed as a free agent right away. Wow. So me sitting out that year redshirting ended up being a blessing in disguise. Wow. Funny how yeah. that works, eh? That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So, um that had happened uh i was excited couldn't wait to call my call my parents and let them know i like, got offered a contract and you know we looked over at me and my mom and and uh we signed and then uh congratulations by the way that's thank huge 
thank you very much. And did so, you ever yeah. hold on one second? Did you ever dream of ever making the CFL? Honestly. Yes. So uh, when I was younger, um, I grew up playing sports: football, basketball, soccer, lacrosse, and uh, um, I remember going to BC Lions games as a kid, and and uh, and I was like, man, like that'd be awesome to play down there one time uh, in the future. And uh, I knew professional sports was what I wanted to get into. I wasn't quite sure if it was football, basketball, or soccer. And uh, as the years kind of went on, it uh, played itself out. And uh, yeah, I'm very thankful to be playing in the CFO. Wow, man. That's such a great story. If there's yeah. any advice you can give to anybody that's either Canadian or American yeah. that wants to get into the CFL, what would it be? Yeah. Get into the CFL. Um, well, uh, I would say first and foremost, lots and lots of hard work. I mean, yes, that's uh, super easy to say, but uh, you know, you gotta you gotta spend time on your body. You know, working hard in the gym. Uh, you know, eating right, and then you know, after you go out and have a hard practice, uh, taking care of your body afterwards. You know, whether that's getting in the ice tub, whether you you know, some guys like to do massages, whatever it is. Um, I would say really, really focus on your body um, because your body is your tool, you know? So, uh, Absolutely. If there was one thing that surprised you about the CFL, what would it be? I'll give you an example. Like Johnny okay. Manziel was a very high draft pick in the NFL. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows Johnny Manziel, Johnny football. And yeah. uh, he's struggling in the, in the CFL. Yes. And yeah. I think he thought it was going to be easier than what it is. And it's not. Yeah. It's it, not. You know, um, it's still a professional sports, and 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 yeah. I would say ninety five percent of the players are American, correct? Yes, yes, a lot. Of, uh, I would say more than half of the guys are American. Yes, and uh, you know, when you're getting into a locker room, you, you get to know other guys. Uh, you know, I was a guy who always follows college football. Uh, you know, was was always watching it, and uh, you find out that these are the guys that you were watching on TV. That's crazy. you know, and uh, you know, I, I kind of you know, was putting these guys on a pedestal and, uh, you know, it was nice to know that once I got here that, uh, you know, like fit in. And so, uh, but the biggest thing that the one thing that I would say would be a big surprise for me to leave you guys don't know. Um, I know you guys have bigger balls yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know um, you guys have the bigger field, right? I would say, I would say for me, uh, the crowds that you play in front of, you know, I, um, I was definitely not used to playing in front of, you know, 20, 30,000 fans, 20, 30, 20, 30, 40,000 fans. Uh, the atmosphere that the CFL creates, man, is, it's truly a blessing to be able to play in the league. Oh, for sure. And what would you say is the best stadium to play in? Where do the fans get the Ooh, loudest? The fans get the loudest. I'd have to... There's a couple of tough ones, but uh, I'm gonna give the nod to Saskatchewan. I was uh, gonna say Saskatchewan. Yeah. Those people are crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, and they got the new stadium, and uh, they really uh, designed it well to keep the noise in. And you know, they they always come out in big numbers every game, so it's always fun to play there. Uh, Does it give you, you goosebumps know? when you go out and the fans are just going crazy? Yeah, like when you come out of the tunnel, especially for uh, in a away game, and everyone's just Boo! <laughs> actually, you know, it kind of gives you goosebumps. It kind of gets you ready to go. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then you need that first hit, and then you feel good, right? Then you're like, okay, no. I'm ready to play. I'm ready get to play. That first play, get that first hit, just to okay. Now I'm settled into the game and uh, and just go and have fun. Well, listen, man. Last year you won a CFL championship. Yes, yes. I was uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to win a great cup, uh, wow. 2017 great cup uh, in Ottawa there, uh, a snow game, you know, my first real snow game that I got to play in where it was coming down and I couldn't see, you know, like you look up to the upper deck and you can't see anything because the snow was just coming down. That game was classic, man. Yeah. I was so yeah. happy to see the Argos win. Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah. I know you guys are having a tougher year this year, but you know what? Congratulations on the championship. Yeah, thank and you very much. I'm so proud of all the success you've had. And as a Canadian football player myself that played high school football, I can tell you that I played football with um, 
Jeff Johnson, who played with the Toronto Argonauts for like 10 years. And I was a DB and he was a running back and he never made it to running back. He played fullback in the CFL because that's how hard it is to be a running yeah. back in the CFL. Yeah. That guy to this day gives me nightmares because when I was on the edge trying to tackle him one-on-one, -on -one, I could never tackle him. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. telling you, I could tackle, I was a very good tackler. I could tackle everybody, but that guy's yeah. footwork was so good and mm -hmm. he could just juke me and get around the corner and gone. And I still, to this day, I have nightmares trying to tackle that guy. And mm -hmm. it just goes to show how good the players have to be to even get to the CFL. Yeah. So congratulations, yeah. Malcolm, man, for getting to that level, man. And I wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors. I, I wish you all the best of luck in your success with the Argonauts and beyond that. And if there's anything else you want the people at home to know about Malcolm Williams, what would it be? Uh, it's one thing I wanted them to know. How can they contact you if they want to get in contact with or if they want to follow you on social media? Yeah. Um, anywhere on to follow you? I'm on Instagram, uh, xwilliams11. Uh, check me out. Um, yeah, man, it's a, it's a kid from Van City, working hard, just living the dream. Well, congratulations, man. We'll be watching you very closely. And thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. that, man. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Always a pleasure. I hope to do it again soon, Malcolm. Thank you very much, right. buddy. Take care. Cheers. Mm -hmm.